Uh oh. Okay, can you guys leave me alone for just a second? There we go. Alright, uh, I feel like Wolverine is the worst in the worst per worst in, the worst person to play against these enemies. Cause they just keep knocking his ass down. Now we got level B. We just arrived in Engineering Guardian. How do we shut this section down? You'll have to deactivate the oil pumps. Why do they have oil pumps in Engineering? Oil is purified in Engineering, then fed to the machinery throughout the factory. So disabling the pumps would throw a monkey wrench into the entire works around here. Most definitely. The problem is those pumps are extremely tough. The only way to damage them would be to overload them with power. How can we do that? You'll have to overdrive the system. But before that, you have to locate the console that deactivates the safety override. Thanks, Guardian. I do like that this section of the game kind of gives you these different little objectives that you gotta do. Can't do that. Can't do what, Rogue? How does an enemy absorb mental? All right, we're we're kind of getting fucked up here. Okay, this this area sucks. The AI was having a lot of trouble handling that area there. And if anyone says anything about it, I know I'm being a little spamming bitch with Cyclops. I don't care. That is my favorite way to play the game. Just spam Optic Blast. Whatever you say, Wolverine. Close ranks. Come on, Wolverine, do your... There you go. I don't know what is with the the AI in this game where they sometimes just get stuck and they just don't do anything. You bet. A danger room disc. Pretty soon I'm gonna go through all those danger room things. Guys, you can't hit them from down there. Guys. Okay. So she's supposed to gain one of their... Pa oh, there we go. So that's how you do it. It doesn't change the icon, though. So it's hard to tell if you actually got a power from them. And you don't really want to... Do that because then you'll just get locked in place. What is this? Uh oh.
Ouch. I don't even know how strong this is. Well, I guess that's decent damage, but that's way stronger. Oh my god. Okay, announcer, you can stop. Thank you. The security console is currently locked down. Done. All right. Good job, guys. Is there a room back here that I missed? I'm pretty sure there was, right? Yeah, I didn't go over there. Let's go do that first. Because that's probably the optional way anyways. Damn barricade. Gotta ruin my fun. Like there's nothing over here. Oh, it looks like that's a buff that they do where they become resistant. Yeah, okay. I never noticed that before. Yeah, Manic Slam seems pretty good. Man, you get those extreme things so fast, you might as well just keep using it. Watch the AI get hit. Oops. <laughs> okay, I'm not an AI. And I just got hit by it. I wonder if Iceman could take these things out. Fuel control. Oh, it's for the fire. So we got striking. Uh, let's give it to Rogue. Because I'm splitting her stuff between striking and body. You know, I just now noticed with how quiet it was here that there's like no background music when you're outside of combat. Kinda goes by like the Resident Evil 4 uh, rules. Come on! There we go. Keep 
Cyclops. You motherfucker, Cyclops. Oh my god, I have to go on him and use tactics. I don't know why Cyclops is such a dickhead when the AI is controlling him. He's the only one who doesn't listen. Power distribution console. This power distribution console cannot initiate an overload until the safety override has been deactivated. Security console has been unlocked. Guardian, where can we find the safety override so we can use this power distribution console? There should be a security console somewhere in that area. But you also might be able to supercharge a generator near you. That would circumvent the whole process. So either we go back to that room, which is literally just right around the corner, or I go do this. This is closer. Guardian, we overloaded the system by supercharging this battery. In the engineering section now. Cool. Storm's gauntlets. All right, I think that was everywhere, right? Except for the very beginning part there. Yeah, we went... Yep. Level E. <laughs> Can't believe that stupid kick from Cyclops knocked him that far back. That giant enemy. Guardian, we made it into the assembly area of the factory. What do we do here? You have to disable the controllers for each of the assembly lines. And once that's done, you need to locate the cryogenic area and destroy the substations there. Got it. Thanks, Guardian. Oh, shit. I did not even notice that. Guys, I need you to hit this, please. Why is it so hard to... Gambit, what are you doing? Thank you, Rogue. Okay. Oh, what the? I did not even see that guy there. Well, that electric beam there does not look good. Do we destroy this? Oh. I was really expecting to be able to destroy that. Got 
How am I not noticing the guys are like right in front of my face attacking me? It's like twice now I did not see him. There's something wrong with my eyes. There we go. Cyclops finally used tactics. Come on, someone get this meatball. Yeah, got me some powerful mojo. Hmm. Two options. Well, I guess I'm not going that way. Everyone was blocking me. You bastard. Will you quit running away? Holy shit, man. This guy's like trying to run all the way back to the sanctuary. What is that glass breaking? Oh, is it shooting? Ow. Oh my god. I don't remember this at all. Hmm. Sure thing. Why don't I remember this room? I guess I can't go that way. Right what are you talking about, Gambit? There, uh, you're just sitting there. Okay, well, I guess I can't go that way. Dude, leave her alone. These fucking assholes just juggling rogue around. You got it. Sure would be appreciated. Yo, help over here. Yes. Cyclops is just like yes, even though he doesn't use tactics. Thanks, Cyclops. Got it. What the? What? What were you doing, Rogue? I'm too low on power. Oh my God! I am like gonna protest playing these melee characters. <laughs> I am so sick of getting knocked down on the floor. You would think there would be a chest hidden right there. Okay. Yes. Get in off of her. Yeah, go ahead and run all the way over here. There's the last homing beacon. You know, that's probably a good place to like hide it, you know, hiding in plain sight. I'm sure a lot of people just did not even notice that right there. Sure thing. To be honest with you, I'm surprised that I even noticed it. Okay, camera. Near that one room again. Over here, I'm out. 
Holy crap. This one's out. Alright, we pretty much looped all the way around. You're not doing so well. There's a lot of times where Gambit's just standing still, not doing anything. Nice try, punk. Scarlet Witches Bracers. Thanks, Gambit. We did it, Guardian. We shut down all the assembly lines and the cryogenic area. That's good news. Now you'll have to destroy the supercomputer that runs this entire infinite factory. If you don't, it'll rebuild the entire facility in a matter of weeks. How hard can it be to take out a supercomputer? I'm pretty sure this one's gonna be tough. It's based on the neural patterns of Mr. Sinister, so it thinks exactly like him. Um... I don't know if this is where that boss fight is with uh, the original X-Men. It might be. I'm going to go save it real quick. Get down. Oh, I don't know how that guy died. <laughs> he just gave up on life. Huh. I swear, I don't really remember this. Oh, did we we destroyed the thing that was shooting the icicles or whatever it was? That's a whole lot of them. How long does this go on for? God damn. Oh, we're full on gear again. Okay, that was not that hard. Let me uh, see what equipment I can drop. Okay, so I just realized this was a gray piece of equipment, so I don't even need it anyways. And... I have a whole bunch of level 30, 40, and I even have something that's level 70. Level 70! What the hell? Why do I have something that's level 70? I think it might be from that grab bag. That Let me show you. Uh, it's... It was something complete. Here it is. Yeah, level 70. I think that was from the grab bag. Plus 41 minimum damage. That's crazy. I don't think I'll even be level 70 at the end of this playthrough. I figure I'll finish at around level 
50. Level E. Weren't we already there? Oh, Mr. Sinister. Ouch. Okay. Let's, uh, are you serious? Let's hang back. Oh, this fucking thing. Damn it. Wait a minute. I just remembered something. I have to go back. Can someone break this thing, please? Just fucking hit this thing. Whatever. Uh, I forgot to get that danger room disc back here. Let's see, it was in one of these things. There it is. And nothing else in these, right? Yeah, okay. There we go. Holy shit. Damn, they are ganging up on us. Yeah, I guess they do. I'm surprised they have not given me an extraction point. They have to give me one soon, right? I was <laughs> like a chain reaction right there. Then more infinites. Man, I had forgotten how huge this place is. Is this where we fight the clones? Hmm. I really want to save it before fighting them. And also level up.
I hear a tech station. So this must be a puzzle. Oh, it's not a puzzle. It's literally just the tech station. That looks weird. Uh, health. Um, yeah, let's give it to Wolverine. I still hear the tech station. Yes. Why do I still hear it? If you say so. Yeah, this is definitely where you fight the clones. Oh wait, there's a door right here. Uh not going to go through there just yet. Let's Make sure we get enough health packs here. Is this focus? Yeah. Oh, energy, rather. Uh, no, nah, let's give it to Cyclops. Cyclops kind of does more since he has tactics, and that costs a lot. Well, 12 health packs is what we got. Greetings, foes. Somehow I knew you'd make your way here. You have an uncanny tendency to overcome all obstacles placed in your way. Mr. Sinister, what are you doing here? He's he's literally not here. That's a hologram, dude. No, it's just as I warned you. That's not Mr. Sinister. It's the supercomputer based on his intellect. Is that you? Those torture sessions were cut short. But he is correct. I am a computer modeled on Sinister's genius. Which is why I will be the one to defeat you. No, you won't. It's just like you said. Whatever's thrown at us, we can handle. Ah, but how would you fare against earlier incarnations of the X-Men? This is just like the Danger Room, isn't it? Was it, was it supposed to show all the others? Because it only showed me Iceman, and that's kind of weird. I think the uh, cutscene glitched out. Fuck you, fake Cyclops. Oh, that's right. We have to destroy these, otherwise they keep respawning. Wolverine, leave me alone. Ouch. Stop. Stop. Wolverine, fuck off. Why do you gotta be the one that's an asshole? Ah, what a cunt. Uh-oh. Well, Gambit might be in trouble here. Come on, Gambit, drop a card. You fucking dick. Well. 
I like how the the fake ones are so much bigger than the rest of us. All right, see ya. Good fight. Oh my god. Uh, seizure warning? Heather, we did it. We shut down the infinite factory. Apocalypse isn't going to be adding any more soldiers to his army. Department H is going to be very pleased to hear that. I'll ask Blink to create a portal to the Weapon X facility. Come see me when you get back. And has there been any word on my husband? Oh yeah, we found him a long time ago. Yes, I'm here. Just in a different area of the factory. Ah, oh, James McDonald Hudson. How dare you not tell me you are safe? Yeah, we kind of forgot, Heather. My bad. Sorry, hon. Guess I just got a little caught up in saving the world from the forces of darkness. <sighs> That's not one bit funny. But at least you're all right. I'll ask Blink to generate a portal for you, too. All right. Damn portals in my way. Toad's armor. Neat. Um, hmm. I wonder if there's anything back there. Probably not. Sure thing. Anything else around here? God, this place is dark. I mean, I guess we did destroy everything, so there's no power in here now. Uh, yeah, let's just head back. Let's see, let me remove these guys, see if anyone new has shown up. Probably Vindicator Guardian. Bishop. Okay, let's roll. Anything new to say? Welcome, my friend. I look no. Ain't you got something better to do than bug me? Nope. Which mission briefing would you Yeah, it looks like there might be nothing new. Uh, so I accidentally talked to her before unpausing recording. So she just thanked us for finding Guardian. There's no problem. Besides, he helped guide us through the Infinite Factory. Well, you have the gratitude of Department H, Alpha Flight, and most of all, me. Thank you. And Come back and that's it for that. All right, so it looks like uh, Angel had some new dialogue. Good job at the core. Forge said he completely trashed it. Yeah, we managed to fuse the reactor rods. Well, that ought to shut him down for a good long time. Oh. Is that all he had to say? The team has truly exceeded expectations, but a new mission awaits. Emma Frost has uncovered a temple that houses a number of psychics loyal to Apocalypse. Emma believes they were responsible for the number of high-ranking leaders going into comas. Come and see me now for further information. Okay. Is there something you need? Oh. So now we gotta talk to Professor X. Forge? Hi again. What can I... Nothing. For you. So this should be for, yeah, the bonus area. I'll do that on the next session. Let's go talk to Professor X. I just received news from Emma Frost. You recall when Apocalypse attacked New York City, a number of top leaders fell into comas? Yes, it left the armed forces paralyzed. They still haven't fully recovered. Emma's discovered a temple that's housing former students of hers who are responsible for those comas. If we can disband this group, their victims should be released from their unnatural slumber. To reach that location, use the X-Jet. If you'd like additional information, activate the mission computer for a full briefing. All right. I look forward to seeing you again. Oh, so we're still in the Weapon X facility then. I thought we'd be leaving. I actually forgot about this part. I do know the area we're going into next. I just thought that was in Act... Not the next one, but the one after it. 
I forgot it was this hey, early. You looking to go Come back. And so we have the the whatever Madri temple. Okay. I was about to say this uh this act felt a bit shorter than the others, but no, it's not. Check out this mission briefing here. Which mission briefing would Emma, can you broadcast to everyone here at the briefing? Need you ask, Charles? It's not as if I'm a first-year student. No, of course not. My apologies. Would you be so kind as to tell everyone what you've learned? Certainly. Charles asked me to discover who or what is responsible for the coma suffered by the leaders during the attack on New York City. Yes, the military was paralyzed because of it, and they still haven't recovered. It was a rather masterful stroke on the part of Apocalypse. But after a long search, I was able to confirm those comas were indeed psychic-induced. Who would do such a thing, Emma? I'm fairly certain this is the work of former students of mine. The Stepford Cuckoos? Please, Bobby. I'd appreciate you not using that title. Aren't those the three sisters who left the school after the fourth one was killed during a mission? Yes, and they've always blamed me for her death. I imagine they joined Apocalypse as some misguided attempt at revenge. So, where are these young ladies now? I traced them to an ancient temple in Canada. Apocalypse has a large number of his priests guarding them. Apocalypse has priests? Oh, yes. True to his egomaniacal form, Apocalypse has built an entire cult that worships him. They call themselves Madri Priests. Oh, Madri. What you have us do, Miss Frost? I'll meet you at the front of the temple, and we'll explore the interior together. If this does turn out to be the work of my girls, they're going to find out in exquisite detail just how unhappy I am. Boy, glad I'm not them. Very good, Emma. A team will be sent immediately. Thank you, Charles, my sweet. I Her sweet. Arrival. Uh, what is going on between Xavier and Emma Frost? I don't know how I feel about that there. <laughs> All right, but anyways, guys, so that's going to be it for this part. So thank you all for watching, and hopefully you'll be here for the next one.